So as a part of this video, I'm going to show you guys how to practically raise a bug in Jira. But I'm using Jira as a defect tracking tool in my explanation. And I'm going to show you guys how practically you should go to the Jira tool and raise a bug. So let's get started. Whenever I'm raising a bug, definitely I should have a requirement. So let's assume that this is my customer requirement. Let's assume that instead of just going and directly raising a bug, I'm making you understand practically. Now let us understand that my customer requirement is that this is one component text field. If you can see that this is one component text field and it can accept a mobile number. And this is the brief of your requirement, which is written that above component should accept only valid mobile number. Now, this is your requirement. You have understood it. Now you must have written some test scenarios and test cases to break the application, right? Now let's assume that this is the test scenario that I have written. Now I have written this test scenarios or test case in the test case template. If you can see validation of entering a valid 10 digit mobile number in the mobile number text field. This is my scenario. And my precondition is that my system should be connected to QA2 MKT Wi-Fi. I mean, let's assume that this particular component, right? It is available on the MKT application. I'm just picking up random MKT application. There is no MKT application in this world. I just created it myself, imaginary application. And then I'm telling how to reproduce it. Steps to reproduce is launch any browser, enter valid MKT app URL, and then enter valid mobile number in the mobile number text field and click on submit. This is my steps to reproduce. Now, what is expected behavior? That when person is really entering the valid mobile number in the mobile number text field, it should accept it. But now let's say that when you actually took the application, when you actually took the application and you are entering 10 digit mobile number, you have entered 10 digit mobile number. Let's say that you have entered 10 digit. After entering it, it is telling that it will only accept nine digit number, not more than nine. So if it is not accepting 10 digit number, it is a defect, right? It is a bug, you know that. So now you have to write what is actual behavior. So you will write that when I am entering 10 digit mobile number is not accepting. Also, it gives a error message as then accept only nine digit number. So this is your actual behavior, right? So this is how you will execute your application, right? You have the scenario with you. You have the requirement with you. You have the application with you. You will read your test scenario and you will execute in the application. And now you know what is the expected behavior and based on your testing, you will write the actual behavior and then the result you need to update in your test case template. So you will say that it is fail. And you know that whenever your test case is fail, uh, you will raise a bug ID, right? So to do that, you need to go to your project management tool to see, uh, if you see this in the project management tool, this was your task, right? To check mobile number component is accepting valid number or not. This is how your uh, task looks like, right? This is what you are doing it, doing it here. This is what you are doing it here. So same task you are working on, right? So in the project management tools, you have the task for it. It is in QA in progress. The reason it is QA in progress is because you are working on this, right? Because you are working in this particular requirement or particular task. Now, just because your your actual behavior is not meeting with the expected output, you will try to create a bug, right? So to create a bug, the moment you click on create, it will only say that you are trying to raise a bug. So you need to write a summary of it. So what is the summary? Summary you can copy paste from the actual behavior if you want to, otherwise you can just type it there. Let me type it here that mobile number text field is not accepting valid then digit number. This is the summary of it. 
And what is description? Description is nothing but steps to reproduce. Description is nothing but your steps to reproduce. And just because you're writing these steps to reproduce for your developer, right? So that he can reproduce the issue, you should also write the precondition. I mean, you cannot expect your developer to be connected with the QA2 Wi-Fi, right? You cannot expect him to be connected because QA2 Wi-Fi is meant for your testers, not for the developers, right? Because in any organization, you will be having a number of Wi-Fi's, let's believe like that. So this is a precondition you need to write for him. And then the steps to reproduce you need to write for him, for the developer. So you can copy the steps to reproduce from here. And after doing that, how your developer will get to know that, what exactly you're trying to say. So for that, you will also write expected behavior. The behavior, you can copy it from here. And then you will also write what is actual behavior. So actual behavior you will copy from here and paste it here. So you wrote what is precondition now, and then you wrote what is steps to reproduce, and then you wrote what is expected behavior, and then you wrote what is actual behavior. Now you can add one more thing here, which is called as a screenshot. If you see her attachment, now let's say that when I was working on this particular application, that time I got a bug. So what I will do is I will take a screenshot. Now let's say I have taken the screenshot and same screenshot, I can attach it here using browse option. Upload file, go to the screenshots, screenshot, this screenshot, right? Now let's say that I have got it. And then I will upload that. After attaching the screenshot, it will ask you who is the reporter. Reporter is someone who is a test engineer, the person who is raising a bug. Automatically his name will come so that just because I have only one particular user in this Jira tool that I'm using, that's the reason it is showing reporter as team software testing by MKT because team software testing MKT is a person who is using this Jira tool. And then you need to give the priority of this bug. How priority is this bug? It is highest priority, high priority, low priority, or lowest priority. Let's say that it is highest priority for me. And then it is asking me the environment, on which environment I got this bug. So I need to write given environment, beta environment, staging environment, production environment. So I'm really writing as a given environment. And then issue relates to, that means you are getting this bug from which issue, from which particular task, so you are getting this issue from this particular task, right? To check mobile number components accepting valid number. So you just need to relate both of them. So that tomorrow, whenever someone is asking that particular task, they will get to know that this particular issue is attached to that task. I will show you how, don't worry. And then assign, assign is nothing but your developer name. So either it will take a pick automatically, or if you want to give someone's name, you can definitely do that. And then you can give this print in case you have a sprint in your organization. Now let's say that I have not created any sprint now, right now, so that's why it is not showing any sprint to me. The moment I will click on create, you can see that I will get a bug ID. If you can see here, can you see this? Issue is successfully created, I got it, right? So this MKT9 right now, this is your bug ID. So you need to copy that, and then you need to go to your test case template, and you need to write down the bug ID that is MKT9. So this is how you execute your application. And when you are executing your application, you need to update your test cases like this. Now in future, if developer fixing it, definitely you have to remove it, but this is how you have to raise a bug. Now let's say that if I open that task once again, if you can, if you can see on my screen just now, if I'm opening this task, right, you can see the bug that I have raised will be attached to that this particular task. So this is a task which I am working on, right? Go check mobile number component is accepting mobile valid mobile number or not. So if you can see linked issues, that means this is issue is linked with this particular task. That means until and unless this particular bug is not fixed, it is not QA complete, this particular task, you cannot complete this particular task to QA complete. That's the meaning of it. And that's why now developer will work on this particular issue. And once this issue he has worked on, 
he will mark it as resolved and then you have to mark it as you have to do the retesting and once you are doing the retesting you to you need to make sure that the bug is really fixed or not if it is really fixed you will mark it as qa complete or you will mark it as issue fixed if it is not you will reopen it remember i spoke about this in my defect life cycle which i have uploaded on my channel if you, see now tomorrow if you the reason we are following this jira or bug tracking tool right because tomorrow if your qa manager or any manager or product manager is opening this particular task and he feel that the qa is in progress from last 3 4 days from last 3 4 days it's in qa progress itself the process of this particular task is not moving to qa complete why because he has a proof here because there is a issue now which is in the open state when i say issue is in the open state that means developer has not yet started working on or he has not given the fix but for that particular so this is how your bug tracking tool looks like and this is how you will raise a bug in your defect tracking tool called as jira so i hope this video was useful in case yes please give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with any friends have any kind of doubt put out all your doubt in the comment section thank you guys see you soon